students today we start new chapter comparing quantities first of all we will discuss what is a ratio and what is a percentage suppose we have piece of paper in a square shape we can call this piece square piece as a whole piece one if we divide this piece in four equal parts and one part if it is colored out of four parts we can say that one fourth of the whole piece is color there are even three parts uncolored so uncolored part is three fourths of the whole Thus, a ratio is a part out of all parts. Suppose two parts are colored, out of four, two point four part is colored. We can say out of the whole. In ratio, we have number in numerator and number in denominator. What does this imply? This implies that a whole thing is divided equally into the parts equal to the denominator. Suppose there is five the denominator, the whole thing is divided into five equal parts. Suppose there is ten the denominator, the whole thing is divided into ten equal parts. And numerator. implies that out of that many divided parts how many parts we have taken consider suppose there is 3 upon 7 so that there be 3 upon 7 this is also a ratio so there is one part in the numerator Some parts and some parts of the number. This three upon seven implies that a thing is divided into seven equal parts and three parts are taken. These three parts are expressed as such three upon seven of the whole. Here, what is numerator? Let us call it p. Four is denominator. Let us call it q. And the value of q should not be equal to zero. Now, at the moment, we are considering about positive numbers. Now, what are the types of ratios? Ratios are three types. Ratio greater than one, ratio equal to one, ratio less than one. Now suppose a thing is divided into. Four parts equal, and we have a ratio five on four. Five divided by four implies that one integer one upon four. So we have to take five such five such parts. Each part, each whole, is divided into four 
फोर एंड फाइव जिसमें भी पांच टेकन टूगेदर इंडिकेट मॉर देर वन वन दो मॉर देर वन इज द रेशियो इन विच मॉर देर वन द होल थिंग्स आर कंसिडर so when out of four parts we take five we will have to take one whole thing and also the other whole thing we divide the other whole thing into four equal parts take one part equal to this all these parts are same
which may be 1 when p equal to q. So actually we are multiplying this by 1. 3 upon 4 multiplied by 1 remains 3 upon 4 because 1 is the identity element of multiplication. If you multiply any number by, by 1, the value of the product remains the same as the original value. As one being the identity element of multiplication. One is also ratio equal to one. If you divide a thing into four equal parts and take all four parts, you have taken the whole thing itself. Now here we have four given. This implies that the part denoted by the fraction denoted by 3 upon 4 is we have taken three parts here in this uncolored part out of 4. Three fourths of the whole is uncolored here. It is denoted by the ratio 3 upon 4. Ratio also shows comparison. Suppose there are 30 apples in one bucket and 40 apples in another bucket. So what is the ratio between them? 30 is to 40, that is 3 is to 4. So 3 is to 4 denotes that we have taken 3 parts out of every 4 parts of the whole. Now, if the remainder is Hundred, we call it cent century, cent. But then the numerator becomes percentage of the whole. That is. Suppose 3 upon 4 is how many percent if we try to find out then convert the denominator into 100. If we multiply here the denominator of the ratio 3 upon 4 by 25 we do get 100. But if we multiply the denominator, we should also multiply the numerator. That is, multiply and divide the numerator and denominator by the same number 25. We get the denominator as 100. But the equal value 3 upon 4 is equal to 3 upon 4 multiplied by 25 upon divided by 25. This gives us. 3 multiplied by 25 is 75. If we multiply and divide the ratio by same number, the ratio remains the same. So 3 upon 4 is exactly equal to 75 upon 100. So these two things are exactly the same. If you take 3 things out of 4, it's as good as, good as to say. 75 things out of 100. So, we have converted the ratio such that the denominator is 100. Now, 3 upon 4th part, we can say that it is exactly 75% Seventy-five per cent. 
Four means for every. Cent means hundred. For every hundred, hundred five. So we can also write the ratio three one four as. Also, we can write the ratio three is to four. Three out out of four. Three is to four. Thus, we can write three upon four equal to three is to four. Equal to seventy five upon hundred. Equal to seventy five percent of the whole. The mark is there. Three point four is nothing but seventy five percent fraction part. Now let us discuss some examples. Find the ratio between speed of cycle to ten kilometers per hour. To speed of scooter at the end of so fifteen divided by thirty. We can cancel the common factors. Three five of fifteen. Six five of thirty. This also gives us one half. So fifteen upon thirty is as good as right three upon six is as good as right one half. So ratio this can be written as one is to two or one half or fifty upon hundred or fifty percent. But ratio. Here we are considering this fraction. So speed of the motorcycle to speed of the scooter is one is to two. Five meters to ten kilometers. Now here we have meters, here we have ten kilometers. So this ratio we can convert five meters upon five. Into one meter equal to ten. One thousand meters, one kilometer equal to one thousand meters. Because equal quantity can be compared. We cannot compare meter by kilometer with kilometer. We have to convert kilometers into meter. Then only we can compare. So this gives us. Similarly, fifty percent to five meters. So fifty percent to five meters is five hundred percent. This gives us one is to ten. Thus, ratio between fifty percent and five five meters is. One is to ten or one upon ten. So, dear students, try to learn this method of expressing the fractions, ratios, percentages.